Did you forget what comes after two? No one says the one. That's how we do it in showbiz. Huh, that's dumb. Let's take it again. We're on the air! <coughs> oh! <laughs> hey there, everyone, and welcome to another episode of... Tool Bench! The only show that literally takes place atop a tool bench. I'm Tim the Tool Man Orange, and say hello to my handy assistant pair, Boarland! Emphasis on the boar. <laughs> Thanks for the sweet intro, dude. All right, today on Toolbench, we're gonna show you how to repair an outboard motor. And you know what an outboard motor goes on, don't you folks? What? A motorboat! <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much, audience. Now, first thing we're gonna do is- Here, let me stop you right there. Any schmo can repair an outboard motor, but it takes a real fruit to give it- More power! That does not look safe, dude. Nonsense! Let me just crank it up and show you how a true professional... Wow! No! It's gonna hit the cool wall! Take cover! Wow! Ah! Ah! This is the worst episode I ever saw! <laughs> this sound? A little left. No! My left! Look, pal, I don't have hands, all right? So I can't tell left from right. Tim? What are you doing to our backyard? Hey, Jill Pickle. I'm digging a pond so we can try out our new outboard motor. <laughs> Stop doing that. So you figured you just dig a massive hole in the counter instead of just using the sink that is right there. <laughs> Good point. I could have just used the sink. You mean to tell me you dug up our entire yard for no good reason? Uh-oh. Uh Looks like you screwed up, tool man. <laughs> I called him a tool. <laughs> yeah, no, seriously, I did. Hey there, neighbor. Huh? Who said that? Me. Where? I'm right here. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't see you there, little Wilson. Gah! It's just... Wilson! I don't need to be reminded that I need a ladder to see over the fence! Tell me, little Wilson, you ever have trouble with your wife? Nah, having love problems, huh? Well, in times like this, I like to use a favorite quote of mine. Love is like the wind. You can't see it, but you can feel it. Hmm, huh. really? Love is like breaking wind? That's not what I said! I mean, it is a weird quotation, but it makes sense. Both feel great! You're not listening! This has been really helpful. Thanks, little Wilson! Why do I even try with him? <laughs> hey, hey, everyone. Welcome back to Toolbench. All right, now let's get back to work re-rebuilding this motor. Now, first we're gonna- Hold it there, Borland. I can't do this. Why? I screwed up at home. Oh. I went a little overboard with this outboard. <laughs> uh, but it upset someone I love very much. You see, a wise person once said, love is like breaking wind. You can't see it, but you can smell it. No one wise ever said that. So I owe an apology to someone out there, my wife, Jill Pickle. I'm sorry. And I'd like to show you just how sorry I am with this. Please. <laughs> Could you guys help me out here? <laughs> yeah, Jill, you're my world. <laughs> what the heck is going on? Ah, it's a beautiful quote that you're ruining it. Uh, dude, you might want to chill out with the whole farting thing. Ah, oh, come on, Borland. Stop being such a... Tool? Yeah, as a matter of fact, you are being a bit of a tool. <laughs> no! Tool! Huh? Ah! 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 Ow! That really threw a wrench in this show. <laughs> guys! Guys! Get in here! It's starting! I can't believe it! Orange is actually gonna be on TV! Really? I heard if he does a good job hosting on the Kitchen Shopping Network today, they might give him a permanent job! Yay! Oh, there he is! There he is! Hello, everyone! I'm your host, Orange! And I'm your hostess, Cupcake. Have you ever come home from a long, hard day, sat down to enjoy your dinner, and then bitten into a soggy salad? Yuck! Oh. Well, there's gotta be a better way! Fortunately, now there is! Introducing Crispy Crisp Salad Spinner. Or just press the top and spin all the water out of your salad! Plus, 
If you hop inside, it'll make you barf pretty much immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that, Orange. Maybe we should get a salad spinner. I do have a hard time barfing sometimes. It could be a real help around here. Seriously, you guys? No way. We don't need a salad spinner. Pear's probably right. And if you call and order now, we'll throw in a special gift. Do you ever show up groggy to your job as an air traffic controller, groggily sit down to oversee air traffic, and accidentally spill your coffee everywhere? <laughs> ah, 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 I'm on fire! Ah, 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 oh no! And now the supercomputer that keeps all the airplanes in the air is on fire too! Well, now there is the untippable mug. Great for people who don't have hands. Wait a minute, I don't have any hands. Neither do I. <laughs> we don't need it. Seriously, when was the last time anyone here spilled coffee and caused a dozen airplanes to crash? That's right, that hasn't happened in weeks. But wait, there's more. There, there is? is? And if you call and order now, we'll throw in a special gift. Unbelievable! Yay! Oh, brother. Have you ever picked an oven mitt off the counter, but it was still super hot for moments before when the oven mitt was touching a hot pot? <laughs> I'm on fire! Oh, no! And now the supercomputer that keeps all the airplanes in the air is on fire, too! There's gotta be a better way! That happens to me all the time. How? You don't have hands. Well, now there is. Thanks to the oven mitt, oven mitt. That's right. It's an oven mitt for picking up oven mitts. That is genius. That is stupid. I'm getting one right now. Get two. That way we can have an oven mitt for our oven mitt, oven mitt. Great thinking. No, no. I'm putting a stop to this nonsense right now. We don't need any of this stuff. So we're not going to special delivery from the Kitchen Shopping Network. Yay! How the heck did you order that so fast? We have your credit card set up for one-click shopping. Yay! My credit card? You're telling me I just paid for a dumb overpriced salad spinner that nobody needs? Silly pear, of course not. We bought enough salad spinners for everyone. Yay! Yay! Special gifts are going back in the box. Good luck with that one, Pear. It's untippable. <laughs> hey, Orange, you were great on TV. I'd even say you were on fire. Absolutely. You did really well. No, on fire. Huh? Oh, no. That oven mitt is on fire. Quick, someone grab an oven mitt, oven mitt. We can't. Pear sent the oven mitt, oven mitt back. You mean we have no oven mitt, oven mitt? We have no oven mitt, oven mitt. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. There's no way to stop this disaster! Guys, relax! See, don't need all that junk from the TV after all. Oh, yeah, Pear's right. The fire extinguisher took care of everything. The fire and the supercomputer. I'm sorry, the what? Well, the supercomputer over there. You got it real good with the fire extinguisher. What? Why is there a supercomputer here in the... Don't forget, Buffet Side High's homecoming dance is this weekend. If you haven't asked someone, better do it right now. Good idea. Will you go with me? Whoa, I don't even know you. Ah, oh, man. Thanks a lot, Sissy Spano. <laughs> Are you going to the dance, Screech? I'm no good at dancing. I got no left feet. <laughs> oh, Screech. What is Keep calling me Screech. My name is Apple. It's because of your voice, Screech. Yeah! That's what you sound like. It is not! Yeah! That's all I hear when you talk. <laughs> yeah! I bet you're going to the dance, aren't you, Zach Oris? Well, only if a certain someone says yes. Oh, there she is! With him. Usually I like to wash my post-workout protein shake down with another protein shake. It gives me the strength I need to down a third protein shake. Hey, Zach. Time out. So I really, really, really want to ask Kelly Compassion of the dance, but I have no clue how to do it. The new guy, AC Graper, is all over. Time in. 
How about you, Kelly? Has anyone asked you to the homecoming dance yet? Not yet, but I'm hoping. Don't worry, I'm sure someone will ask you very soon. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, students. We're all behaving, I assume. <laughs> you know it, Mr. Bell Pepper. Oh, Mr. Graper. <laughs> Could I have a word with you? Nice. Maybe he got detention and can't go to the dance. Not quite, Jack. <laughs> Mr. Bell Pepper's letting me into Kelly Capassion's locker. I'm gonna decorate it and ask her to homecoming. Later, suckers. Aw, oh, man. Why didn't I think of that? Time out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I freeze time to fart sometimes. So what? Time in. Zach, you have to figure out a way to ask Kelly Capassion to the homecoming before she opens her locker. Yeah, otherwise she might go with AC Graper. Seriously, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's all I heard. Whatever, whatever. Okay, okay, okay. Let me think. Well, I'll see you guys. I'm gonna go grab my algebra book from my locker. Wait, no. Huh? Well, why not? B because, um, algebra class is canceled. It is? Cool. Well, I guess I'll go stash my algebra homework in my locker. Wait, you can't, you can't do that because, um, they, they reset all the locker combinations. Well, to what? Uh, um, to zero, zero, zero. Oh, cool. So I can just use that combination. Smooth move, Zach! Wait! Don't go open your locker! Why not? Uh, because I put a live squirrel in there. Oh no! I should go let it out! No! It's a murderous squirrel! <gasps> oh my! Yeah, yeah, that, that's it! It's a fanatical, crazy, murderous squirrel! Oh dear! Mr. Bell Pepper, did you hear? There are murderous squirrels in the school! Huh, there are? This is the worst nightmare as a principal! Evacuate! Pull the fire alarm! Um, Mr. Bell Pepper? Bar the doors! Keep your distance from any and all acorns! I repeat, any and all acorns! Ah! What kind of acorn? And you'll be the first to feel the squirrel's wrath! Ah! Mr. Bell Pepper! Stop! There's no squirrel! Ha <laughs> ha! What did Screech just screech at me now? <laughs> There's no squirrel, Mr. Bell Pepper. It's a lie I told that spun out of control. <laughs> a lie? But why? Because, well, I wanted to ask Kelly Capassion to homecoming before AC Graper did. I see. Yeah, that makes no sense whatsoever. Is that true, Zach? You want to go to homecoming with me? <gasps> of course it's true. I'd love to go with you. Woohoo! Oh, man. Be strong, AC. Be strong! Harness the strength of a dozen protein shakes! All right! I'm going to homecoming with Kelly Compassion! How <laughs> are you now? Because it's going to be tough to attend the homecoming dance while you're in detention. What? <laughs> well, this is what you get for lying, Zach. Because of you, we just pulled, like, ten fire alarms and called the police! <sighs> I guess I see your point. And you do well to remember it. If you take someone to a dance, just ask them. You don't need to make up a lie about something ridiculous like a... Crazy, fanatical, murderous squirrel? Exactly. No! Crazy, fanatical, murderous squirrel! Ready to go camping. I've got the sleeping bags. I've got the matches. I've got the marshmallows. Yay! We can And I've got the Abby. <laughs> Whoa! I cannot vouch for where I got this Abby or why it seems to be exploding. <laughs> oh, my product, it's, it's ruined. Whoa! Who's the egg and why is he cracking up? <laughs> Hans. Fantastic. What? Don't like my yelps? <laughs> Listen, sorry if I don't give heed to your whimsical wordplay, but I'm very busy! Aww, you look upset! I'll cheer you up with a joke! Knock knock! I am the one who knocks! Knock knock! I am the one who knocks! Okay, fine! You start! Knock knock! Who's there? Say my name! Say my name who? If you don't know who I am, then perhaps your best course is to tread lightly. Um... Was that the punchline? Uh, uh, I, I, I think what Orange is trying to say is that we, we just want to know who you are. That is a long story. I used to be a high school home economics teacher by the name of Walter Eggwhite. 
My cooking was renowned across New Mexico. Then I found out that I was going rotten. I couldn't pay for the expensive hard-boiling treatment that would save my shelf life, so I fell into a world of crime. Now they call me... Exenberg. Now, if you could all please get out of my way, I need to cook! Yay! Pancakes! No, not pancakes. This is chili pepper hot sauce with a tweak of chemistry. An acidic heat so pure, a single drop could scramble your brain. When the recipe is done exactly right, the sauce turns a perfect orange. Easy there, sauce boss. Everyone knows I'm the only perfect orange around. You're wrong. This is our turf now. Our turf? Oh, yes. This is my associate, Messy Pinkman. Hey, yo. Don't even think of telling anyone our plans, snitch. Yeah, we're not really interested in the hot sauce business or the inevitable violence that comes with it. I'm not in the hot sauce business. I'm in the Empire business! Empire? All I see is some runny eggs. <laughs> now hand over to Hot Sauce Eggs and Bird! What the shell? Hey, yo, this is bad, Mr. Egg White. It's the Carton Cartel. See? Inevitable! Yeesh! This is getting El Pollo Loco! <laughs> Everybody put your weapons down! It's all over, Walt! Or should I say, Eggs and Bird? Oh no! It's my brother in law, Hank on! He's. A pig! And I hate pigs! Everyone, just calm down! There's a completely rational explanation! Put down your weapons, all of you! And over the hot sauce! Uh, Are you in trouble? Better call Saul! How could this possibly get worse? Well, I don't know. Somebody could spit a seed in your eye. Well, yes, I suppose that could be... Ow! Ha <laughs> Told ya! You fool! You ruined my recipe! It's become completely unstable! Oh! Ah! Yeah, snitch! Science! Oh, Bessie. guys, guess I needed a power nap. Hey, where's old Egghead? Yeah, well, the explosion kind of... Um, well, look for yourself. I told you I'd get you, Walter. You're in danger now. I'm not in danger. I am the danger. Yo, Mr. Egg White, somebody ratted us out. Everyone here's a snitch. You're all snitches. Wow, poor guys. I'ma let them work out their problems. <laughs> it's over? Huh? No one breaking sand. <laughs> I mean, have we not solved it already? Is it tomatoes or is it tomatoes? Can't the tomatoes just get together, hold a meeting, and call the whole thing off? And what's the deal with airplane food? Does anybody actually like this stuff? Hey. I'm airline food! My mama's airline food! Uh-oh! Looks like there's a problem in the peanut gallery! This is the night, Pear! Tonight, Little Apple makes his moves! On the new secretary at work? Precisely! At the annual company party! I see a couple holes in your plan. First, do you even know her name? Not a clue! Secondly, and perhaps most importantly, women hate you. Not a problem! A plan to get bigger somehow? What? No. I was gonna get a wig. Oh. Wait, are you telling me women don't like that I'm small? Well, I thought it was because I was bald. I honestly can't say. I'm not a woman. Oh, come on! I'm a good size! Hey, guys. Passion, do women not like me because I'm small or because I'm bald? We don't like you because you're an idiot. Fair enough. So? How was your date last night? It was okay. Me and this guy watched a little Adventure Time, and then we went back to his place, yada, yada, yada. Wait, you just yada, yada, yada over the best part! Yeah, you can't yada, yada, yada over the best part. No, I, I told you about Adventure Time. Anyway, you guys heard about this new soup place across town? It's supposed to be amazing. Anyone want to go before the party? Pear does! I do? Pear, you've got to keep Passion distracted. She cannot come to my company's party till after nine. Why not? Because they'll be dancing until nine. You remember the last time Passion danced? Of course. It's seared into my memory forever. I almost vomited. No dancing, Passion. It'll ruin my chances with the secretary. It'll throw the whole thing off. All right. All right. Great. Ha. I'm off to buy a wig. 
Hey, we talking about wigs over here? Cause I can totally get you a wig. Really? Oh yeah, I know a guy. He sells wheat germ wigs in Central Park. 20 bucks a pop. Well, that's super cheap. Are they any good? Good, they're great. Trust me, you've never worn a wig until you've worn a wheat germ wig. Well, if you say so. Oh, I almost forgot. What time is your company party? Uh, later, much later, I huh? hope. Uh, oh, and remember, when you meet my boss, make sure to pronounce his name exactly right. Oh yeah? How does he say it? Toma too. I beg your pardon? Toma too. It's French or something. That's it. We got tomato and tomato, and now we got a whole other one to worry about. I say no. I refuse. I'm calling the whole thing off. Next. I cannot wait to try this soup. Um, I, I don't have anything smaller than a 20. No soup. Ah! Yeesh. This guy's being a real Nazi about this stuff, isn't he? Yeah, but apparently the soup's so great, so you just have to put up with him. Oh, no. Grapefruit's here. Hello, pear. Hello, grapefruit. <laughs> Trying the soup, eh? That's right. I've been enjoying the finer aspects of our city all day. In fact, I just picked up some premium wheat germ at Central Park. Next. Hi, um, do you have minestrone? It's pronounced minestrone. Really? Because... I've always heard minestrone. That's it! No soup for you! What? The possibly mispronouncing soup? Yes, get out! Ugh, whatever. Let's just go to the party pair. Uh, party? But, but you don't wanna... Next! I'll have the toasted wheat germ soup, please. Excellent choice. Oh, no. We appear to be out of wheat germ. Oh, well, then today's your lucky day. <laughs> It's just, it's just, what? Do you smell something? No, probably nothing. Whoa, who's she? That's her! Oh, and she's wearing a name tag. Perfect! This is Little Apple's time to strike! Hello there! Little Apple, from accounts. That's me! Fancy seeing you here, potato! Oh, actually, it's potato. Pardon? Potato. It's French. Is that so? My name is French as well. Little Apple, care to introduce me to this stunning young woman? Well, of course. Mr. Tomatu, meet Miss Potatu. A pleasure to meet you, Mr. Tomatu. The pleasure is all mine, Miss Potatu. Come, let me show you my numerous sports cars. Perhaps we'll take a ride. Ah! My boss just stole the girl of my dreams. Could this get any worse? Check out that lady on the dance floor. What? <laughs> We couldn't get soup. Passion made me come right here. Yeah. Is it me or does this place reek of rancid wheat germ? What? Are you saying my wig is past due? I'm saying your wig is turned, little apple. The germ is turned. Oh, the germ is turned! The germ is turned! Oh, what's that smell? Oh no! The wig's ruining the party! Eh, I'd say it's already ruined. <laughs> Wait, isn't that your girl with Mr. Tomato? Hey, hey! It's Tomatu to you. Now get out of here. What? For mispronouncing your name? Yes. Get out. No party for you. Woo! This is my jam. Don't worry, Pear. I have a feeling this party's about to go south. Her dancing was so horrible. I think I'm gonna barf. You guys want to get a bite? Yeah, I could eat. Diner? Chinese? Oh. We should get soup! My soup! It's rancid! Oh no! This germ has turned! I used turn germ! Oh! Ugh, I'm never coming back here again! Me neither! Me! I used turn germ! These hieroglyphics are amazing! Thousands of years ago, there was a battle called the Millennial Games, and they used all the same monsters that we do with our Food Monsters card to play it. Then that means... Wait, what does that mean? It means we should buy more cards. Please. That's not even how you play the game, Orange, and you already spent all your money on trading cards. How are you gonna buy more? Well, I'll just sell these. That must be the Millennial Puzzle. Legend says it was shattered into a dozen pieces, and only the chosen one can put it back together. Done! Orange, what'd you do? Thieves in 
my tomb? Good luck robbing me from the shady realm. <laughs> After 5,000 years, the Millennial Games shall return. I'll finally conquer Egypt, and then the world. Hey, who turned out the lights? to do I should have known you would stay close to your puzzle, Pharaoh. Prepare for your ultimate demise, for the loser will spend eternity in the Shady Realm. I'll start off by summoning Neo, defending swordsman in attack position. What's the top hashtag today? Then I'll put two guards face down. Your move, Pharaoh. Your swordsman is strong but his inability to pay attention will be his downfall as I bring my best friend to the field. Favor Warrior! Haha, <laughs> you fool! My swordsman attack power far surpasses that of your warrior! Don't underestimate my favor, Cure, because right now I can't even! By placing one card face down and playing this one, I've activated its special effect. When I have an odd number of cards in my hand, I can double my phase attack points! <laughs> Now, Bay, take him out! Top five reasons today sucked. Number three will shock you. <laughs> Impressive move, but you've activated my trap card. Plot hole! Plot holes let me do something that doesn't make any sense but keeps the plot moving forward, so I negate your base power up, meaning our fight plays out more like this. <laughs> My move! I summon the hashtag blessed elf in attack mode. Together, both my monsters will attack and take you out of the game. Not so fast. I activate Selfie Force! My front facing camera reflects your attack right back at your monster! <laughs> Seems after all these centuries, you still haven't lost your touch. I end my turn. I am defenseless no more, for I summon Smelted Guardian to protect me. Why is it the Smelted? Because he dealt it, Procura, and from the gassy shadows, attack his life points directly. Not so fast. I play my trap card, face swap. For one turn, we switch places, meaning your attack comes right back at you. Guardian, no! You'll lose before your next turn. But don't worry, Pharaoh. You'll have plenty of time to get turned in the Shady Realm. That may be, Procura. But on the other hand, can you say... No! On the places, I play Knives of Revealing Light! It forbids you from attacking on your next two turns. You will my field is wide open for attack, so I'll boost my defenses with Dang It Daniel in defense mode! That damn's rocking with those white bands, but none of my cards are strong enough to break through it. My first turn is wasted. I place a card face down in defense mode! Your move! Prepare for oblivion, Pharaoh, for I sacrificed my Dang It Daniel to bring a more powerful monster to the field! Gaia, the Fleet Knight! My Fleet Knight is forbidden from attacking for now, but on my next turn he'll begin his assault. And not a single monster on the Pharaoh's side stands a chance. My victory is assured! None of my monster cards are strong enough to defeat that handsome knight. The Shiolo card would destroy his monster, but it destroys my side of the field too. Hmm. Perhaps I could use my reverse slay card to bring a monster back to defend me. But Procura's cards are on point. I'll have to trust in the heart of my deck and draw the right card. By all means, Pharaoh. This turn will begin your undoing. <laughs> You're the one who's about to become undone. I sacrifice my two monsters to summon my ultimate creature, the Dank Magician! What the devil? This magician is more powerful than my knight. Then I play YOLO, destroying all monsters on the field. 
I don't understand. You summon your most lit beast only to destroy it? Everyone only lives once, even you, Rokira. But you'll find my magician can break that rule when I play Reverse Slay, undoing his untimely demise and bringing him back to the field! But that means... That you haven't a single monster to protect you. Tank magician, attack! <laughs> and now, Brokura, I forever banish you to the Shady Realm! <laughs> Your souls are back safe and sound. My job here is done. Pam! So, did we know that guy? Never seen him before in my life. Um, what just happened? No idea, dude. No idea. So you still taking that puzzle with you? Yuck! I hate puzzles! Hey! Guess I should have played my cards a little differently. No! Ah! Always ends the same way. Knife comes down and cuts him in half. Seriously, guys, that's all I know. Honest. Save it for the Oscars, Meryl. We're not buying your story. It's not Meryl. It's me. Little Apple. And who the heck are you guys anyway? We're Special Agents Mac and Cheese. We're here to investigate the mysterious disappearances that have plagued this kitchen. My money's on UFOs. Yeah, but the smart money's on a gypsy curse. Alien gypsies? Now you're talking. <laughs> Guys, you got it all wrong! Nah, there's something screwy in this kitchen. I can almost feel it. I think I hear what you mean. Ricola! <laughs> hey, hey, Agent Wedgie! Hey, over here! That's Special Agent Cheese. I'm sorry, Curd, you say that again? <laughs> can the laugh track, funny fruit. This is serious business. My partner and I are on the trail of an extremely dangerous cryptozoological creature. More like crypto-illogical! They're just looking for knife! I knew it! These two are obviously in cahoots. <laughs> he called Midget Apple an owl. <laughs> we'll be pulling around the clock surveillance until we bag this creature. Yay! Slumber party! More like slaughter party. Oh, I've never been to one of those before. It'll be fun. We can play pin the tail on the Yeti vampire freak. Is that like Jenga? Maybe you're not listening. Back Emin? We're talking about monsters here, motor mouth. Aliens with an ax to grind. Ghouls with power tools. Ewoks tossing tiny little rocks. Can you dig it? Mm, not really. I don't know any of those games. I tell you, Mac, this one is 100% certifiable, and I don't mean organic. Hey, you guys should talk to Tree about the disappearances. She's always leafing. <laughs> Don't play dumb with us, smart guy. Easy, Mac. I don't think he's playing. Real head case, this one. <laughs> Guys, this is just a big misunderstanding, okay? So it's just a lone, crazy knife. That's all, huh? That's what I've been trying to tell you! Nuh uh Sometimes it's a blender, or a pry bar, or toasters, or explosions. Lots of explosions. Oh, and then there was this one time the Halloween ate the frankenfruit? <laughs> Good times! Now we're getting somewhere. Seems like Mr. Memory here knows more than he's letting on. Ooh, a shiny microphone! Are we gonna do carrot oaky? <laughs> Tell us everything you know or my partner will wipe your memory with his neuralizer. Too bad you don't have more than one! Then it would be a pluralizer! <laughs> Oops. Nice one, Butterfingers. There goes our star witness. Hey, hey, Cheese Whiz! I think there's something wrong with your microphone. Ah, <sighs> figures. These things never work on citrus fruit. There he goes, tooting his own horn again. Huh? That wasn't me. My horn sounds like this. Then what was it? Spill already, why don't you? Well, I do have one idea. What's that? Yeti vampire freak. Yeti vampire freak. My god, it's got fangs, a boombox, and yeti powers? Hey, hey, show me your microphone. La Vista, baby! <laughs> oh. I swear, partner, one day I'll track that thing down and make it pay for what it did to you. Ah, poor cheese! Yeah, now he's all pro alone. <laughs> ah. Seriously, though, if you need a new partner, I know somebody that's pretty sharp. Oh, yeah? And who's that? Knife! Ah. 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 Well, that can't feel Gouda. <laughs> oh, jeez! I tried to warn him! Hmm. 
Cheddar luck next time. <laughs> Ricola.